Hi, Carol here. And my cold is not getting any better. <laughs> but I'm plugging away. And I know it's been slow, but it is a large process. Um, Kathy Order makes it look like boom, 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 and it's all done. But I'm telling you, I can't boom, boom like that. Not in the shape I'm feeling now. So, um... Anyway, if you're following along, let's just see. Oh, I need to, uh, this is, I need to put this down. This is what I decided to do. I decided to, you know that black piece that we cut out? I wanted some more stability than just paper. So I went into my stash and I'm going to use the um, distress markers to do all these butterflies later when I get to the embellishment stage and I will have it done so you don't have to walk through it with me. So I put that down. I'm just going to put the next one down up here and this is how it folds, remember? And we're putting this on. So I distressed all the edges. I, um, let me see here. I put all the tape on all of the backings, the hinges. And we are going to together hinge these three onto this piece and then this piece will be finished. I added some burlap to the back right there and I thought this is going to be really nice to have. Uh, as far as you know, a binder type, a wallet type thing. I thought it would look very nice. So, uh, when I was at my son's wedding, they had these glass beautiful things. They had flowers coming out and lemons, uh, lemons all down in here with these big yellow uh, lilies. And so I asked if I could have these when they were done with them and they gave them to me. So I stacked all of my brads in here. I put my gold, my black, and my silver in this one. And I did all of my round ones in this one, colored round. And I just took all my breads and I just went through them, you know. One is all flowers. This one's all flowers. Right here. Colorful flowers. And anyway, I have them all behind me there. You can probably see them. So I need to get some breads for these to put back. So I was looking for some. And I was just going to test whether this little teensy black one would be... Yes, it would it would fit exactly and open up. Okay, I'm going to just see if I have something else in my bling. And there we are. I have these silver ones. Let's see what looks better. I like the silver ones than the black ones for some reason. One two, three, four, there we are, and I have to get out clock hands. Oh, here's gold ones. Forget it, I'm going to use the gold. One, put these back, one, watch me not have enough of them, two, they have a Excuse me, a longer bread. That one's not cold. Three. Three. And four. Um, anyway. I think that's the color I'm looking for right there. Okay. And I want to get a clock hand for that other thing. So, I guess that one jumped out at me, so I'll use that one. Okay, see that was painless. So we have that. Now, um, even though I wasn't feeling well today, I had to go out and get a few things. Anyway, so, let's put that right there. I did go and get a haul. Can I throw my haul in there at you today? Do I not always throw a little haul out? This is not a haul. I have not used my crop. This is called a cropodile. See what I'm saying? I buy it because you're supposed to have one. 
And I'm going to use this. Oh, and it has all kinds of uh, thingies in the back there. Okay, so we're going to use that to put the clasps in. Hopefully I can get this down. And um, this is the little haul I got today. Alrighty. You think I'd get tired of shopping, wouldn't you? <laughs> I don't. I don't get tired of shop eh, shopping. Excuse me. Um, look what I got. I did it. I got the tape glider wide. I told you I wanted it. Now I have two ATG guns that are quarter inch because I always like to have one on stock in case something happens to the other one. So now I have this one but they're sixty dollars like sixty dollars i used my coupon my forty percent off you know so it's still thirty five plus our tax is up to four, a little over forty dollars that's kind of neat look how wide that is oh i like the color purple i have purple and pink so it comes with one of these and i bought one of these these are twenty dollars oh, i'm telling you they twenty dollars you did that so I'm going to put that together and I think I will get a lot of use out of this half inch um, ATG gun because the tape is half inch instead of that little quarter and you'll be able to get some projects done. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so anyway, I bought a spare one. Uh, $16.99. $20 just for tape. Oh, but I buy it for the other ATG gun. And then I thought these were really neat. Uh, these were in the bridal section at Walmart, and they're like raindrops or teardrops. I am going to get a lot of use out of these, a lot. They were the last three there, or I would have got more. And then, let's see. Oh. When the entire project is finished, hopefully the next one, I got this gorgeous. It was marked $12.99 and it was on clearance for $7.99. It came to $9.04 with our tax. I think it's crazy. But it's one of those locks you pull up and down. See, it has the lever there. I just fell in love with it, so it didn't matter. I wanted that one. And I got it uh, for $9.04 with our tax included. So that was nice. And um, Revlon One Step Makeup. That was not from Michaels. That was from Walmart. <laughs> uh, oh, I really like these two colors of nail polish together. Isn't that sweet? I got that uh, metallic brown gold kind of thing. And then I got the gold. I'm going to put this on the tips of my nails and put this on the bottom. Anyway, that was my Walmart haul, some of it, and these are the Michaels I go to, you can't buy them singly. Uh, when I was at Hobby Lobby, you got to buy them singly. That's where I got the rest of them, but I didn't have these five, so I picked them up. And honestly, I'm not kidding you when I say this, this was $29. Now, that's ridiculous. Uh, that's like six, almost seven dollars a marker. But um, anyway, there was a friend that I saw there and she went through this and got it for me with a the, with the 40% coupon. So that was nice. I only paid $19. So $18.87 or something for five markers. Wow, this craft business is expensive, I tell you. And I saw these, uh, I wanted these for projects, and I like them because they're very thin. They're not like your average, um, you know, your uh, Scrabble board ones that are really thick. So I like this because, I'll tell you why, on the backs of them, I can put whatever I want. You know, with all your numbers and letters and whatever, you can make up a name with whatever you want when you run low on these. And it comes with... Um, the three-quarter inch alphabet tile, 60 of them. And then I got the little tag ones that have the hole on it to make the charms. I thought this would be really nice to be able to use that. So really, that wasn't a bad haul. That was it. That's what I got today. 
this morning. Ran there, ran back. I didn't feel like I had a list, so that makes it really good. A couple of things I didn't have on my list, but they were on the way to the checkout, so. You know, when you see that stuff strategically placed at the checkout counter, you're tempted to get it, and I did. There wasn't like, um, um, I don't celebrate Halloween, so I don't even go to the Halloween section to see, but I saw like on the outside of this store, they had tons on sale and I didn't even look there. So, let me see here. We will get this down and get it finished on this take. Um, since I got in the door, I was freezing, so I had to put a big woolly sweater on here. Sweatshirt, actually. Uh, and it's raining like cats and dogs out there, which doesn't make shopping or, nor driving fun. There we go. So, this is going to flip up like that. This is going to go right there for some more stuff. Oh, get off there. See, I don't know. This tape from Walmart is sticky. Look it. I'm going to try slowly. I may not get it off. But then I may. Whoa, that's a miracle. Let me try this again. Um, that's why. Okay. I don't want it near the fold, right? There's that little gusset fold right there. Okay. So now we have that on the inside. Okay. You don't have to put that, nor do you have to put this. But I like things nice and thick and stable. So now, while we're at it, we will put this down. Then we're going to add those sheets to it. And we are going to be finished this wallet. And you know, if you're sitting down at a desk, like my desk over there with my nice big leather chair, and you're doing this, you know, in the evening, you've got nice lights on and it's nice and quiet you can really do a lot more than when you're standing here with a camera on trying to be cordial and gabbing you know because that's what I do and um, so things run slower so I could probably like tonight I'm going to sit down, finish those other two pages, and get out the cover, and get it ready. I'll get one ready, so I kind of know what I'm doing, so that the other one, when I show you, will really go down well. Okay, here we go. So, this, and I frayed all the edges, distressed them. Hopefully, I made this long enough. Okay, something's going to have to go up there. Actually, yeah, I'll just make a little piece for there. I know why, because I saw... I'm not, you can't take it off. It literally is down there. So I'm going to put some burlap up there. That's what I'm going to do there, burlap. It'll match the back. Look at that. No biggie. Grab some burlap, shove it down there with some glue gun stuff. Okay, that's going over there. My lock is going on there. This is going to hopefully go down really easy. Peasy. We have... All of our edges, the tape is on. I hope I did that right because I haven't gone back to look at her video. Silly me. Distressed all these. They're all ready to go. So I imagine we start with this one. I want this to flip down like so. 
Sue. Sue, so Sue. Sue. Let's grab this one. Now. Alright. I'm going to figure out the back last. And I'm going to put these on. So I use the half inch score tape. And this is strong stuff. I think score pal are gonna will have their if you're gonna compete against both of them. This is pretty strong for $1.27. And you get the I don't know how much you get, but that I just opened this roll. So it's a pretty good amount in there. Okay. So this is gonna go down like this. once that gets put down it's down okay there's one and let's take this off now my cold well I got strep throat and a bit of a chest infection has turned into this wicked cough uh, but the blessing is it only cough at night not so much in the day all right so now this is going down and we want to make it even. Okay, there we are. So there you have, okay, what did I do? Oh, Carol, 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 Carol. How can that be a pocket if I put tape all over them? <laughs> okay. Change of plans. Let's flick this up like this and see if I can reconstruct here with these. So it should only have been um yeah, it should only should have been like this. All right. Okay. Alrighty. This is what I'm going to do. This, let me tell you what I'm going to do. These will not be pockets. Because <laughs> I have these pockets. I'm telling you. Could things get any worse here? No. That's okay. Two of them don't have pockets going in. You just have these. I'm alright with that. Oh yeah, that's okay. So, let me tell you what I'm going to do here. Then, if that be the case, I'm sorry I'm wasting a lot of time here to do this, but I want to get this right. I don't want to be doing this over again. So, if I do that, I'm good. Perfectly good. Alright, so, when this opens here, in here. Oh, I got it. Okay, I knew it would come to me. Take the trusty glue gut. Leave the wasted tape on there. Look at that. I wasted that tape. And run this down. And run this up. And now I have a pocket there. So let's get that on there. All works out. There we go. I won't be able to do anything with that, but this has now a pocket. Okay, let's fold that. My tape is going nowhere, and it's nice and plasticky, so things will slide down in there. This is no biggie. It's probably worked out for the best. There we go. So, let us down with this like that there so what you want to do is just go around the perimeter don't go on the top like I just did but that's fine because I don't mind that I may put something over it so you can use it I don't know but now you have one there now you have one there you don't you don't but 
you're going to have one here. You can count on it. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do it matching. I am. So let's see here. Isn't that funny? I have to look at this and see what I'm doing here. So if this goes on here, like this. Now, if this goes on here and this goes up on there, that's right. Okay, so you can tell I haven't watched. I'm telling you, when I tell you, I only watch a couple of times. I mean it. I just, I mean, you could spend all night watching video, 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 video. Either you're going to get it or you're not. Obviously, I didn't. <laughs> Okay, so now I have a pocket there. All right, fold this back. Okay, isn't that funny? All that tape, but I only paid out twenty-seven for the whole roll. I didn't use a whole roll. You know, mistakes are costly. Yes, they are. So I can't even strip that half inch down because it will take up too much space to have the gusset. So I actually have to use it, not use it. There we go. Okay. Then this goes on there. I like it because you get to Kind of, you have a little bit of play room, wiggly room there. Alrighty then. Okay, we have one, two, three, four. Yes. But, yeah, and there's my back. Did it, no problem. Oh, why do we fret the little things? That's just a little thing. It's not a biggie. Okay, there we go. Uh oh, that's a biggie, it didn't stick. Um, is it because of this? I don't want that happening. When I send this to somebody, it all comes apart. I gotta test them. That one's not, that one's not, okay. That must have been, again, that I didn't do it quick enough. I'm gonna do it on this one. I'm just gonna go over this, over this, over this, quit my talking and get that on there. Okay. There. Let's see if that stays. I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to touch that with a 10 foot pole. All right, so now that we have that, I want one right here. This is going to come up like this and this is going to come down like that. I almost think that this one, and I followed the directions, but I'm almost thinking that this should have been a quarter inch instead of an eighth of an inch myself. That's just me. So what I'm gonna do here is, I'm going to take a little bit off of this. Sorry, how much time do we have? We're okay. Okay. This is just sticking out a tad. So, I have enough tape on that. Do I? Yes, I do, except for right there. So I'll put a tiny bit right up in the corner. Oh, 
Wrong. Look at that. I always grab to my left. Okay, let's just do that down. And that worked out well. I don't panic over stuff like that. It's easy to fix. There was a day I would have panicked. Not anymore. That's why you have embellishments. What do you think you buy all that stuff for? To embellish. Okay, this one's okay because this is going to come down and snap. You're going to have stuff in all these pages, so it is going to stick out a wee bit. That's why this quarter inch was on there. So if I was redoing it, I would do this a quarter inch instead of an eighth inch. Okay, now for the um, I like the look of something here so um, I'm going to take the scissors and take this off and it's going down the front. This was not meant to be down the front, but I don't like it bare so you can see this corner here. I am going to bring that down because I think it looks better. Distress your edges in case it's not straight. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna have, we're gonna catch up on having those other two um, pockets. There we are, okay. Let's go. There, that looks much better to me. Kind of hang it over a bit, so... Um, so this isn't showing, you know, on the other side. And now you have a pocket. I gained another pocket. Excellent. Isn't that sweet? All right. Let's get out our... However this opens up. Let's get this on and it's finished. Do I have time? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I have one minute. This is not good. So what we're doing here is I am going to cut. Uh, I'm going to do a, well, to be honest with you. All right. I know i got to cut right there. So, I think I'm okay here. I'm going to need a mat. Grab a mat. And I had to watch my time. Thank you for joining me. Have a blessed weekend. I will be back on the next video. What I'm going to do here is uh, get a ruler. I'm going to mark this so that it's precisely even. It's going like this. And then I'm going to put the other one with these brads. And I will take a picture of it to put on my blog and www.stampinribbons.blogspot.com. You will see this completed as a picture and um, I'll just keep working until this stops and see if I didn't do the haul we would have had this finished. But you do have to measure things. I do know how to work this now just looking at it. It's not that difficult. Everybody loves their crocodile too. We are memory keepers are ingenious, aren't they? Okay, see you later. Bye.